Those aren't my secret butts, just so you know. What up you beautiful people? It's your boy, Jefferson. Back again with another review. Back in the mother effing jungle. You know what it is in the backyard of my, not my house, but it's where I live. Got the Quorum Classic. I just did a review on the Quorum Maduro. Again, JC Newman with the banging short filler hits. Not the best, not the worst, but certainly a decent smoke when you're in the mood for a smoke. Great cigar, great smoke. Let's get it in. Pop this shit, no problem. V cut as usual. Boom, yummy. So a quick dry draw, see what it is. Very herbally. Virtually no, no scent on the wrapper. Maybe a little bit of hay, you know, the usual natural tobacco, aromas, flavors, profiles, you know what I'm saying? Well, let's light this baby up and start talking. I don't know why sometimes this stupid torch lighter runs out of fuel so quick, you know? I feel like I'm refueling it all the damn time. I would always recommend a torch lighter. It tends to uh, have a more even burn on the cigar. Take a look. She a little bit dark. Mm. 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 So I'll start off with the presentation. Again, just like the Maduro, you know, for a short filler, cheaper stick, it's a pretty nice uh, label in my opinion. You know, not shiny or anything like that, but kind of eye-catching. JC Newman Cigar Company, you know, been in the business for a long time. So yeah, you know, presentation is just, you know, Kind of like whatever, but decent looking. Usually these are short fillers, the ash just keeps falling off and off, obviously because, you know, short filler, long filler, holding, not holding well together. But so far the flavors are pretty basic. Um, we're getting some like cedar, cedar wood notes, some earthy flavors, natural tobacco flavors. So apparently this Corum line, Corum Cigars is the top selling bundle stick. I'm pretty sure bundle stick meaning cheap stick. I believe in the US this goes for about two or three dollars. In Canada, I think this is like six or seven dollars. Man, six or seven dollars in the US, man, you're getting some good sticks, but here, no, you're getting quorum. This gives you the premium cigar experience, but without all the bells and whistles. Like, you go up into the 10, 15 dollar range, then you're getting all the delicious flavors, that, that extra oomph. But here with the cheap stick, you know, still good, still great. More for like a yard stick. I like to call them yard guards, but still not bad. When you're in the mood to light, light, when you're in the mood to light something up, but. You don't wanna light up a nice stick, then why not, right? But yeah, let's keep smoking. You know, you know what it is. I'm not gonna change much. Look at that. Pretty good. We we'll back, and still be homies. Just like anything, once you get once you get into something, you know, there's levels to the shit, right? Levels. Now, although this might be on the bottom of the totem pole, don't be tricked. This is still very enjoyable. Just gotta go into with the mindset that it's cheap steak. Excuse me, and it might not offer you all the flavors or smoke production or the razor sharp burn you're looking for, but walk your dog, walk your cat, walk your little hamster, go out and put the shit in the back, cut some grass, trim some hedges, you know what I'm saying? Cut some branches down, break some wood, smoke some wood, and you're good. But yeah, no complaints on the drawn construction. Uh, I feel like it's opened up a lot more now. The, definitely creating a, a more airflow. Smoke production is uh, getting definitely better compared to the first and second third. Not much uh, transition in terms of flavors, but still a good stick. Very good stick. I'm really, I'm enjoying this a lot. So, so far, we're about 25 minutes in. Getting to the last third. Basically done here. No. And with these uh, cheaper sticks, it's like, it gets hot quicker, right? It gets hot quicker, it's a lot squishier. It's like a sponge. It's like no, no firmness to it at all. You see the, uh, the mouth kind of starting to unravel. 
you can definitely tell that's short filler. That's all just sitting on its own. But still good, nothing's going to my mouth. Still good though, still smoking, still no, no light up, no retouches. <clears throat> the first and second there, I feel like you did have to do a double puff to get the, the air flowing and the smoke. But right now, it's, uh, as I've said, it's opened up a lot. So definitely creating a lot of smoke, good, good draw. like a smoking erupted volcano brother crazy so getting to the end here it is getting a little bit bitter so i'm gonna have to call it an end on this stick right now but overall great stick great experience i mean great session overall obviously it's not going to give you that extra oomph or extra kick that you're looking for in a, a higher quality tobacco or higher quality cigar but overall still good i have to give this final score of 76 Kind of in the, in the average, it's not terrible, right? But yeah, when the occasion calls for it, this is definitely the stick to go. You know, I definitely wouldn't be, wouldn't want to be smoking a expensive or a nicer stick um, on a, when I'm rushed for time or when I'm going for a walk. Again, like I said in the last video, expensive sticks you want to be sitting down, chilling, so you can focus on the flavors, focus on the cigar. Obviously, right now I am, I am sitting down, but I'm trying to give you a nice review for this Quorum Classic, JC Newman. How about your boy? Good stick, good experience, good session. Go get yourself a quorum. You can get grab a whole bunch for not much in price. So go smoke this shit and hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think about the quorum classic. Again, my name is Jeff. We out here in the motherfucking jungle, smoking sticks and making jokes and taking tokes. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in, and I hit y'all in the next review gotta hit up my gotta hit up the homie tito soon right right yeah right all right y'all catch you in the next time